right now I'm heading right down the bottom railway uh, where I went before summer to take this image. So what I want to do tonight is go back there and hopefully in an hour's time I'm going to get them red clouds again. So here, we'll probably come back here if the clouds go orange and get a shot from here. So now I'm going to go onto the railway and head to that next location. First location. along the uh, Padan Railway on the side of the lake and uh, going back to that location uh, because last time I took it I did like the composition and it was a very sort of postcardy sort of image but it was missing a bit of light so hopefully tonight I can go back there and if I'm lucky when the sun drops over there it'll just light up the uh, clouds of the sky if it does work so brilliant I'll be very happy So this is the location, um, I think I've got about another hour really before stuff starts happening in the sky. Uh, but behind me now it's starting to go orange, but I'd say in another hour, if I'm lucky tonight, it'll go orange. So I'm going to set up on a bench here like I did last time. Um, and get the bench in the frame and just get a nice bracketed image of this bench, that nice hill there and if uh, I'm hoping that, that will light up if so, fantastic but I'm really just hoping something's going to happen tonight but if it doesn't, it doesn't matter it's just one of them locations I can come back to any time so yeah, I'm going to set up on the bench and get things ready. Yeah, it's about quarter to seven now. Uh, so in about 45 minutes, by half seven, it's sunset, starting to go orange over here, and hopefully it'll start casting light over that end, if I'm lucky. doing at the moment what I want it to do. Uh, you can see the hill here where I want the light so it's working uh, and I'm hoping it's just going to curb it all that in a minute and I've got light on the mountain as well so so far so good. So what I'm going to do now is start bracketing just in case I lose light so that I get something.
sun's going down over there. And what I wanted to do next is just give me some orange skies and I've got a great shot. Right then, uh, I've had the light up there here as much as I can get and I've had the light on there. Now the next thing to wait for is for that sun to completely go down and then start putting colour in the sky. Uh, now if I get that I'm happy then I can use the different shots that I've had tonight to to make that one good uh, that one good image. So I'm gonna wait 20 min 15 20 minutes and see what happens. Uh, just behind me now you can see this cloud starting to roll over. So what I want is some colour for the clouds to pick up some colour and then I'm happy. All the magic is happening now. Uh, I don't know if you can pick it up on this, but that sky is just pink, and there's a cloud of a sheet of cloud there going across Snowdon that is pure white. Fantastic colours, awesome. So at this, I'm at uh, f16. ISO 200 and I'm bra bracketing the exposures. Right, and I think I've got the best colour for tonight. Um, the the colour's fading on this side now, so I think I've had the best I can get out of it. I just hope it really works. Uh, my God, it looks beautiful. Right then, so I'm going to call it call it on that one. Uh, going to head back um, and get something to eat. So I'll see you at the next location. Well, this evening um, I thought I'd uh, head up to Cleggid because I think it's all going to go off at this end tonight. If you can see behind me here, um, there's a lot of uh, nice colours and them clouds are already orange. So, what I thought I'd do tonight is come and find my lone tree, uh, which I photographed before. I think that's it over there and uh, see if any magic happens in half an hour. So, try and set up for a composition over there. So what I had planned when I came here was to do a portrait, but I've changed my mind now. Um, for this conversation, I'm going to use this on the left of the frame, and as far as that red 
red. The, this tree on the right here with red berries. And just in the distance there you can see the road. So it takes your eye into the mountains. Or will take your eyes into the coloured clouds if it if it happens. Uh, I'm really hoping it'll happen. Uh, but this half an hour yet to see what happens. Right then, I'm not going to give you exposure because it's changing uh, all the time, but I'm at ISO 100 and at F11. Uh, I've got nothing too much in the foreground. I'm trying to get the best, sharpest I can for this camera, which is not very good. So yeah, the sun's gone down there. It's just a matter of uh, waiting again. Uh, let's see what happens. not looking too good tonight I don't know it's, it's not really happening um, there's plenty of cloud but I think the problem tonight is that there's too much cloud over that way blocking the Sun um, I'm gonna give it another 15 minutes and if nothing happens then it ain't gonna happen but I did take a couple of images um, not too sure if they're gonna be any good if they're good you'll see them in a minute if they're not, well, sometimes you chase sunsets and sometimes you don't get it. So, looks like tonight is going to be one of them nights where it ain't happening. I'm gonna wrap it up here um, I, nothing's gonna happen um, it's too much cloud cover on that end uh, there's just nothing going on all around me not a thing so uh, I'm gonna call it a day on that one uh, so that's it um, once again, thanks for watching, uh, and please subscribe. Uh, so until next time, bye. Thank you.